All right, Pablo Gunner here with Timothy Zahn or Timothy? Timothy. Okay, yeah. Timothy. All right, cool. And he is a legendary book writer. You're an author, yes. yeah. yeah. And so mostly known for the Thrawn series, right? I mean, you've done everything that's Star Wars, but, done, but you're known for yeah, Thrawn I've done, primarily. I've done 13 Star Wars books, uh, but Thrawn is my most famous character. Right. Yeah. And so there's the books the books are out i've actually been listening to the audiobook which is phenomenal i have the comics i've read the comics and they're superb thank you and we've seen thrawn in the rebels show yes that's so that's cool. really cool too when are we going to get like a movie or his own show <laughs> that's entirely up to lucasfilm uh i'm not privy to any of those conversations um everything you write in star wars is owned immediately by lucasfilm so there's no need to consult me or talk to me or anything like that okay they don't even have to tell me something is happening right with rebels they let me know about eight months before the announcement that he was going to be in uh the show rebels um but they were under no real obligation to do All right that. so thrawn could show up at any time and uh i wouldn't know until it happened so how cool was that seeing him on rebels and knowing that your character yes. is on rebels huh uh, extremely cool and they did a great job with him oh absolutely it's it's so perfect i love it yeah. it's so the crazy thing about thrawn is you're it's so weird like how he comes in and you're like i don't know how to feel about this guy <laughs> and then you start rooting for him and then they start going against rebels and you're like i don't know if i should still be rooting for this guy He's, he's an but unusual... But you can't help it. Yeah, he's yeah. an unusual antagonist because he's not like anything you've seen in Star Wars before. He doesn't have the, the manipulation of the right. Emperor. He doesn't have the the evil of Tarkin. He doesn't have the, the strength but mixed feelings that Vader shows through the movies. Right. Uh, he is very calm, very cool, calculating. He's got his own agenda which the reader can understand and sympathize with even if they don't like his choice of allies. Right, and I think he does do right by his allies too. Yes. And that's what's really cool is you go like, he, he'll he see them, someone's done them wrong, and then he'll find a way to correct that. Yeah. And you're like, that was really cool. That's, you know, so seeing those things, those great qualities about him, you know, that he has this interesting honor code, yeah. you know, is he, really fascinating. He leads by loyalty. That right. That is something we also haven't seen in Star Wars. Uh -huh. um, he, he inspires loyalty in his people uh, and gives loyalty back to them. So, yeah, you've got that. This is a good commander type of, type right. of thing. A lot of people have pointed out uh, the, the connection's not really what I was going for, but uh, Erwin Rommel uh, fighting for the, the Nazis. He mm -hmm. was an honorable military right, man right. under the command of Hitler. Uh -huh. So there, there's a little bit of that mixed in with Thrawn. He's an honorable person doing what needs to be done for his oath of, uh, oath of office, basically. Okay, so was that your inspiration? Not, not specifically, but I've read a lot of military history okay so i'm sure that that's where it comes from okay that's and, really cool that's really awesome so how did, did you get into writing originally uh back in 1975 i watched a bad tv show and i said i could write better than that that's awesome and I started <laughs> writing stories as a hobby and eventually became a career okay cool and what about star wars uh back in 1989 lucasfilm and bantam books decided to continue the star wars saga in book form mm -hmm. and uh, I was offered those that, that original trilogy okay cool and so how did you get into Star Wars just from the movies and stuff oh yeah I was I was a fan of Star Wars from night two of A New Hope I didn't make it to the opening night but I got there the second night so I've been with Star Wars since 1977 okay awesome what are some more works that we can check out of yours uh, I've got a series going with David Weber set in his Honor Harrington universe. I've got uh, just finished a, the third book of a trilogy called Sybil's War, about a girl who's taken to a giant spaceship to help put it back together and discovers things are not what they seem. Uh, I've got a couple of the proposals kicking around with my uh, agent to be pitched to various editors. And I've got other Star Wars proposals over at Del Rey Books. We'll see if they let me do anything. Okay, cool. Books. Where can we check that stuff out? Uh, I've got a Facebook page. Okay. Facebook.com slash Timothy Zahn. All right. Uh, that's a place to leave messages. I post book news, a convention news, things of that sort. So 
whatever you're looking for, you know, the notes section has convention schedule and such. So that's the, how to keep track of what I'm going to be doing. Okay, awesome. And so what kind of things do you nerd out about or that, that are nerdy that you're into? Uh, my most recent uh, fanboy moment was with uh, Jared Padalecki of uh, Supernatural. Okay. It turned out <laughs> he was a fan of my books, and so an interviewer arranged for us to meet oh, wow. at San Diego Comic Con. Nice. And uh, we, we got to fanboy to each other. It was very cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, cool. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate no it. No problem. Thanks for having me on.